While searching for the new video ideas, I came across an amazing draggable horizontal scroll animation on a watch. In today's video, we'll create this stunning horizontal scroll animation that you can control by dragging the scroller. We'll be using GSAP's draggable plugin and a bit of JavaScript to pull it off. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Just a reminder that you can access the source code through CodeGrid Pro. The link is in the description. Alright, let's dive into the video. For the HTML structure, we need three key elements. A navbar, a container for all the content and a timeline where we'll add the scroller. In the navbar, we'll simply add a few links. For the content, we'll use sections. Let's add five sections, each with a unique ID. Within a couple of these sections, we'll include some text using H1 and paragraph elements. In the remaining sections, we'll add a few images as dummy content. Let's place three images in each of the remaining sections, giving each image a unique class name for later styling. Inside the timeline, we'll add a div with the class name of scroller. We'll also add some text inside it. We'll add the markers using JavaScript later. That's pretty much it. Now let's move on to the styling. First, we'll reset the margin, padding and box sizing for all elements. We'll set the width and height for the HTML and body to 100% and apply a black background with white text. Images will be set to cover the full width and height of the container using object fit set to cover. The container will be absolutely positioned, covering the full viewport and using flexbox to arrange the sections horizontally. For the nav, we'll fix it at the top, make it span the full width, add padding and use flexbox to space out the links. Anchor tags will have no text decoration, white color, a defined fonts with uppercase letters and a small font size. The timeline will be fixed at the bottom, spanning the full width with padding and flexbox to distribute its content. Markers will be styled as a thin vertical line, filling the height and having a white background. The scroller will be absolutely positioned at the vertical center of the timeline, with uppercase text, black background and a pointer cursor. Spans will use the same font as nav links with padding for spacing. Each section will be relatively positioned taking the full viewport width with padding and flexbox to align its content and overflow set to hidden. Images inside sections will fill that container. Headings will take up half of the width, use a different font and have a large uppercase style. Paragraphs will take 40% of the width, use the same font and have a medium font size.
Sections with ID 1 and 4 will have content space day only. Images with specific classes will have a flex property for layout control, with some taking more space to create a better layout. That's the CSS setup. First, we'll register the GSAP draggable plugin. When the window loads, we'll start by selecting the timeline, scroller, and container elements. We'll calculate the timeline's width and scroller's width. To get the gap, we'll use computed font size of the body. This gap helps us create space on both sides of the scroller for better visual alignment. Next, we'll determine the maximum drag distance for the scroller. This is calculated by subtracting the scroller's width and twice the gap from the timeline's width. This ensures that the scroller stops at the edges of the timeline without overflowing. To visualize the timeline, we'll create 50 marker elements and append them to the timeline. We'll use the apps draggable to make the scroller draggable along the x-axis. We'll then set the draggable bounds to limit the scroller's movement between the calculated gap and the timeline's width minus the scroller's width and the gap. During the drag, we'll calculate the progress of the scroller's position. This is done by subtracting the gap from the current position of the scroller and dividing by the maximum drag distance. This gives us a value between 0 and 1, representing the progress. Using this progress, we'll determine the container's new position. We'll multiply the progress by the total width of the container's movement, which is 400 times the ratio of the timeline's width to 100. This scales the movement to match our layout. Finally, we'll animate the container's position with GSAP creating a smooth scrolling effect. The animation duration is set to 1 second with a power 3 easing for a natural feel. That's it for the JavaScript. Hope you found the video helpful. See you in the next one.